We just released a video on why you should have a Google business profile for your security business. And yes, we always talk about security because we are security experts, but this video is also true if you're a plumber and if you work inside different industry. And today we want to do a step-by-step -step guide to help you create your Google business profile. The reason is simple. This is a market you might not have explored yet, and these are potential customers you can reach. With five-star reviews, with comments left on your business, this is how you attract new customers. It's the same idea of when you're trying to reserve for a hotel, taking a vacation, you go and find the best solution possible. So today, we'll again do a step-by-step -step guide how to create your profile Grab a pen, grab a paper, take your notes and follow along. After this, it will be really easy for you to do. So let's get to it. So before you start, there is a little checklist that needs to be done. Because when you want to create a Google business profile, they will require some information from you. The first thing you need is a Gmail account. And I recommend not using your personal account because this is the account that will leave comments when people leave reviews for your business. So you don't want them to just send email to your personal account. So you should create a new Gmail simply by going on Google, entering Gmail, and then creating a Gmail account with the name of your business. In our case, we're creating a fake business named Vanguard Camera Installation. And when you enter here, they will ask you if you want to create an account for personal use or for work or my business. Here, it's better to choose for my personal use because it's free and it's more than enough to do its job for what we're going to do today. The next thing you will need is a valid phone number. And this will come later in the video, but this is part of the verification step Google will take to make sure you are the right owner of this business. Another thing is having a valid physical address. Same thing as the phone number, this is for the verification step. So if you have your valid phone number, you have your valid physical address, and you have your Gmail account for your business, you're good to go and we're about to create your Google profile business. So you need to log in inside the Gmail account you just created for your business. Ours is Vanguard Camera Installation. So now we log in. And then what you need to do is simply go on Google and write Google business, I don't know how to write, profile. Okay, and you click on the first link. Now, what you will see appear here, stand out on Google with a free business profile. Now you just click on get started and you're ready to go. First step is get your business discovered on Google search. So here you need to enter your business name and this is what will appear on Google. So don't use uh, different words if it's not part of your actual business name. And a quick tip here, it's possible that Google actually created the company for you. So this is something they do and you would need to claim ownership of this business. A good way to find this is simply entering your business name. So as a demo, I will write unclaim property solutions and as you can see this company exists in California so when I click on this name it shows me the Google address so on Google Maps and it asks me to manage this company right now so this company is on claim so I could actually ask Google to send me a verification to claim access to this company and this is also true if you go on Google Maps so going on Google Maps, finding the same company, as you can see here, there is a small icon where it's written claim this business. So if your business appears on your business profile when you try to create it, this is a good way to do it. So you just need to verify and then the steps are mostly done. In our case, so if we go back here, our name is actually Vanguard. So if I write Vanguard camera installation, there is absolutely nothing here, so our company does not exist. So we will do the process from scratch, and I believe this is something we will all do together. So it's a good way to start. Next step, choose your business type. 
So they offer you three choices if you are an online retail, a local store or a service business. In our case, we install security cameras, so we provide a service. But keep in mind that you can actually toggle multiple options here. So I can also maybe toggle the local store if I'm a security system supplier. So I don't just install the camera, but again, I can also sell them to my customers. So I can toggle as much as I need, but in our case, so in this specific situation, all I am is a service business. I only install security cameras. The sponsor of today's video is actually us, People Systems. We're not just here to test security products. We're a team of industry experts dedicated to bringing real value to the industry. We demo interesting solutions from top manufacturers. We highlight and promote professional installers and we educate end users on the latest security technologies. So in short, we connect everyone in the security world, installers, manufacturers, and end users, so the right solution reach the right people. And if you are a security manufacturer looking to showcase your solution, we offer different video packages to match your needs, whether it's a deep dive, a product demo, or just a quick highlight. You can reach us at the email in the description below. Back to the video. Next step is enter a business category. You can enter some text here. So for example, uh, again, we're installing cameras. So I write security uh, camera. So I have multiple options as you can see. There's security guard, that's not really it. Security system installation service, security services, security system supplier. If you don't know which one to choose because you're not entirely sure uh, how to categorize your business, you should actually go on Google and type the keywords you want people to look for. So for example, in our case, if I go on Google right now, I want to look for uh, security camera installation. So that's the keywords I want my customers to use to try and find me. So if I click on that and I look at the map, I can find different businesses that offer a similar solution. For example, the first one, their category is security system installation service. Second one is security system supplier, then security system installation services. So this gives you an idea that your competition is using this category. So you should also use the similar category to enter in that pool of offers for your customers. In our case, we're not going to choose supplier because again, we only provide the service. So if we go back here, I enter security. So it was security system installation service. Then I press on next. Next step is the areas where you provide this service. So a good rule of thumb is simply to tell the truth. <laughs> Don't write areas to try and find more customers. For example, we're based in Montreal. So we can be in Montreal, a little bit up north, a little bit down south but I will not select areas like Vancouver because I will never do an install engine in Vancouver. It's just not close enough for me. So write areas where you know you will be able to travel to and do your installation because otherwise Google will know about it and it's possible that they suspend your account if you provide false information. So to keep it simple here, we will only have Montreal and then we click on next. Now, they're asking you for your contact details. This is where having a valid phone number is necessary. They also put the website option as optional. I highly recommend for you to have a website. Again, we're creating a Google business profile, so people will look for you online. When they see your profile, well, it's good to give them the opportunity to visit your website. Your website is, is like the first page, the, the book cover of your business. So it's all the information is in there. So, okay, I see this company, what do they do more? So being able to access this website and find more information gives me a sense of trust and then I will call you. Most people need that first step before calling a business. So again, yes, it's written optional, but I highly recommend you having a website. So I will enter my phone number here. And in our case, it's a fake business, so we don't have a real website right now. Next, 
It's put your business on the map. So Google offers you some tips. If you want to subscribe to them, it's really up to you. If it's the first time you do this, it's actually pretty good. So you should uh, subscribe and you will receive different emails to help you improve your Google profile. And then it's about the verification step. As we mentioned before, if you add all three on the checklist, so a valid phone number, valid physical address and your Gmail account, it will not be a problem, I promise. In our case, they're asking to verify by a mailing address. So to show you how it looks, and I will place my finger so you don't actually see my address, but you will receive a letter directly from Google with a code inside. And all you need to do is enter this code and it will verify. So it's just to make sure that you are the right owner of the business. And I believe that when you enter that you have a local store so that you are a supplier, they will ask you for a video verification. Now I understand this can sound intimidating at first, but don't worry, we're here to cover you. And honestly, if you want us to do a video about the video verification, leave us a comment below. I'll gladly do it for you and we'll go again a step-by-step step what you need to do and what you need to show them. In this case, again, it's mailing, but if we're talking about video, it's a one, two minute video and they will ask you to prove that you are the right owner. Again, the, the trick here is simply plan ahead. So take the time to write down your script, plan what you will show, and it will go way faster. You can use your phone, you can start by filming your service vehicle, then you will show yourself opening the door of your local store so they understand that you are the right owner. And when you enter, well, you showcase that, yes, you supply security cameras, access control, and different types of equipment. Sometimes they will also ask you to film some relevant documents. So read, read the email they send you, plan your video ahead, and I promise you it will be done in a matter of minutes. All right, in our case, we'll enter our physical address so they can send us this fake mail because again, we're not really creating a company, guys. All right, so our business is created here. I click on next. Now, next step is adding your business hours. Similar to the areas where you work, add your real business hours because Google will know about it. We talked about that, so they might suspend your account if you lie. And not only that, but it can affect your reviews. If you say you, were, you work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and at the end of the day, your customers try to reach you and you don't answer their phone, it's possible they leave a bad review on your company. So here, if I enter Let's say I work seven days a week. I can also enter the different time at which I open and at which I close. So it's important to do all of them. And a quick tip for you, and I think that's something not many people actually know. The way Google works is that if, for example, all security businesses are closed on Sunday, but my business is open on Sunday 24 hours, they will actually rank up my business because it is open on that day. So if someone looks for a security company on a Sunday at 3 a.m. and my company is the only one that is open, I will rank higher than the other companies. So if you're just starting in the industry, that might be a good way to help you grow on your Google business profile is simply providing more hours. Again, true hours that you will answer the phone and you will work to help you gain more reviews, reach that five-star rating that we're all looking forward to. All right, now my business hours are added. Next up is adding your business description. So you want to keep it clear, simple, and explain right away what service you provide. So secure your space with our expert security camera installation services. We provide surveillance solution for home and businesses ensuring peace of mind with customized, reliable protection and exceptional service. Guys, it's not complicated. You know your business, you know your mission, values, your vision. You can write down a little text. I suggest one to two sentence maximum. And if you're confident, use this. If you're wondering if it's good, there's tools online. You can use ChatGPT, put your text in there, ask him to correct the text and to improve it to fit in that space, explain to ChatGPT what is it for, and you will have something that will reflect your business and you will be confident to post online. But again, keywords, simple, clear, so people know right away what kind of service you provide. 
Next up, and I think this one is really important and you should not skip that part, is adding photos of your work. Again, and I like to compare things with food, but we, we always say that we taste with our eyes first. It's true also when you do a service install. So we're talking about security installation. People want to see your work. They want to see what you did in the past. It's just, again, to gain trust with potential customers. And I think a great company that does this is iMotion Security. So as you can see, they provide pictures of their service vehicles. They even have a small video. You have pictures of the office. It looks professional. So right here, I see those pictures. And I'm thinking, all right, if I go with iMotion, my projects will be in good hands. And that can make a difference when, when someone is just looking online. So entering secret installation business in Montreal, I look for different businesses on there. Some have pictures, some don't. Chances are I will choose the business with great pictures that actually show me different projects they did because then I can understand that, ah, this is what it will look like at the end of my project and it looks like a great example. Now, in our case, we don't have anything so we will skip this part. And now, they're offering you a credit for Google Advertising. If you're not used to working with that, I, I honestly ask you to skip this part because it, it's more complicated than it looks like. It's not just giving you $600. Maybe it's another video. And if you would like to use this $600, well, leave us a comment below and we'll try to do a video just for you to explain how to use Google Advertising here. And finally, one last skip, and you have your business that is created. So. They still need to verify your business. As we mentioned before, they will send you either a letter, uh, SMS, text message, or even they will review the video you send them. But when this part is done, your Google business profile will be up online and you will be able to get your five-star reviews. Having a Google business profile can be a key advantage when you're looking at your competition. As we've showcased, people will use different keywords to look for different types of security installation. And again, chances are, like you do a search on Google, you will look at the first page, sometime the second page. So the higher you rate, the higher chance you get to receive new customers. And again, we understand this can seem intimidating, but as you can see, with a little help, everything is possible. And that's what we're doing at People Systems. We try to help everyone in the security industry, so not just manufacturers, but also installers, help you guys get more customers. So if you have marketing questions, digital marketing questions like we've just seen today, leave us a comment below. You can even send us an email. We'll make sure to reply. Our goal is again to help you. And our goal is also to explain to the end users that you are professional security companies. It's not just DIY where they can install the cameras by themselves. They need you to have a professional job done and have the right equipment for their projects. All right, guys, I'm Jeremy from People Systems. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next one.